Hi, in this screencast I want to give an update on the status of the Python plugin for NetBeans IDE. I'm on the NetBeans.org homepage. I click on the Plugins tab and now I'm in the Plugin Portal. And there is a small search field down here where I can type Python. And you can see Python for NetBeans 802. And this has just been updated and as you can see code completion is included, which is something that users are asking for now that basic Python support is already there. So you can create projects, you can run them and so on, but now you can also use code completion, which is of course very helpful. I've clicked on the download button and I've now um, downloaded a zip file which contains my NBMs. So these are NetBeans modules. There are 10 NBMs in here. I extract them and I'll put them into a better place than where it is sent by default. Um, let's say here, I'll make a new folder, my Python modules, put them there, my Python modules, and so this is the folder where they're in, I click OK, so now they're all unzipped into there, and now I'm inside NetBeans, I'm going to go to the favorites window and just see them, so this is the same folder, so these are the NBM files. So I can see them all inside NetBeans, you don't need to do this, but it's just um, to see them all in one place. Um, now the point is to go to the Plugins uh, Manager, and here to go to the Downloader tab to say Add Plugins, and then to go in here to that folder. And then you can select all of these 10 modules, and you can say Install, and click Next. Accept the license agreements, say Continue. And what we now have is the Python plugin installed into NetBeans, which means you can go to the new project dialog and you'll see Python. You'll see the Python project. Click Next and you can say, Hello world, Python. And you need to select a Python platform, which assumes you've downloaded and installed Python. And there's various available. Let's take the latest one here. Click Finish, and you can run this as before, first of all, close the other tabs, but the important point here is if I press Control Space, you can see I have code completion. Not very advanced code completion yet, but the basics are in here, so all the built-in um, code completion that you would expect is there. Um, let's take one of the examples. Not all of them are in working order yet, but let's take this one. Uh, click Finish, and let's look here. So this is Swing, developed by uh, Python. And you can see here in the Navigator, first of all, that um, the Navigator is included as well, which is also new. And you can also see that when you click on something, all the matching items, so for example, now I'm on frame, so there's no matching frame, but if I'm on self, then all the other selves are also highlighted. And then you can um, navigate towards them and away from them. Um, but what is important here is, again, when I do code completion, I get um, some results already. So basic code completion is built in via this latest update to the Python plugin. So get it and use it and all the basic functionality um, to get started with is included. Just one thing that um, we're working on a um, fork of the Python that's in Contrib, which is um, in GitHub. Um, but eventually what we want to do is move this back into Contrib and combine it with um, the official Python project that is being led by Lou DeSaro. But um, the work that is being done on Python at the moment is on this fork. And um, you're happy to f um, and welcome to fork it yourself and um, work on the Python plugin and add the features that you need. Ultimately, we need to resolve these two different um, branches. The official Python um, work is being done in the NetBeans Contrib, um, but for the lightweight process and to have a nicely separated um, set of source code, we have the fork available as well. And that's it. Um, have fun with NetBeans and with Python.